What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, SIJ. This silence is guy, entertainment, news, media, comedy, music, knowledge. Definitely hit the like button if you like this video or the concept or whatever. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's over 300 videos, diverse topic. Go ahead and check out the channel. You probably ran into me in the past and don't even know it. Now, today's topic is my opinion on ghostwriters and why I don't respect rappers who use them in hip-hop specifically and why I think that you shouldn't either. Now, let me just talk about ghostwriting. By definition, it's not just pertaining to hip-hop. It's also pertaining to like literary and journalistic work, speeches, text, and is used in other genres of music, but the work is officially credited to somebody else as the after. Now, we're going to get into that through this whole video, but let's talk about hip-hop now. Hip-hop was built off of originality. Back then, black people had something called flavor. You know what I'm saying? The way we talk, the way we walk, the clothes we wore, we was unique. You know, backwards hats, we ain't worried for. We, we, we always doing something different. We threw it backwards. We're in logos. We're making our own logos up. You dig what I'm saying? Luckily, they took over that whole, you know, and started selling us. They, they figured out a way to manipulate that, but we used to make our own logos. Our, our Even our names was different and everything you could tell that we was african no matter what culture we was in we always it was like we had a a pro, pro, prolific way of living like the way we thought the way we spoke the way and we were struggling you dig what i'm saying and we all still had something about us all around the world the stuff that it was like the style you know what i'm saying it was like the energy it was like the vibe that we introduced to the world no matter where we was the fundamentals of hip-hop was based off of black people, personality, style, creativity, and etc. We had energy. We had a vibe. You dig? No matter where we was on the planet, it was something about us. No matter if it was sports or whatever we did, we tried to be the best at it or we was naturally good at it. You feel what I'm saying? We And while we struggling, we still found a way to make things work and still have our own sense of a, a culture. The fundamentals of hip-hop was based off of black people, personality, style, and creativity. Period. The struggle, what we had to introduce to the whole world, and we was able to, you know, present that information, and it, 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 and it showed you. Hip-hop exposed how intellectual, creative, intelligent, in tune, and how low-key spiritual black people really was. Like, like, they could take a situation, explain it in a poetic form, giving you the problem, the solution, you know what I mean? Express how they felt about the situation, all in a couple of lines, while harnessing a whole bunch of people attention and influencing people and giving them the resolution all in the, all, all in one song. And like like and being able to let people know, like, I know exactly what's going on in about a situation so much I could explain it in 30 different ways while rhyming it. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what hip hop was about. Hip hop was about expressing yourself uniquely your personality you feel what i'm saying now we're gonna get into ghostwriting ghostwriting is a bunch of matter of fact ghostwriting is like a branch of experimental cloning what if you have a group of people writing your lyrics dressing you telling you what to say and how to say it what type of song to do and it's like you don't realize that they're controlling your influence. You know what I'm saying? They're controlling the entity of celebrity that you possess because they know its power. That's the so ghostwriting is like a form of cloning because it's like, yo, we're trying to we're trying to have you say this to get people to think that. And now other everybody want to be just like that and start rapping like that and start dressing like that. That's the type of the because they want to control the whole celebrity. That's the ghostwriting is actually dangerous, low key. You know what I'm saying? Now black people are spiritual, low key. You know what I'm saying? Because we like profits. And it's like they're trying to make a profit off of the profit. They know our power. They know our power in the words. Last time I checked the word, any the, the word was God. So, you know what I'm saying? The words are dangerous. Now, to the rappers, if you're not talented, just say that. You feel, you, you feel what I'm saying? It's the help for me. It's, it's the help for me. Oh, you on your job for real? You in the lab? What lab? The one that created you? I, I see why y'all say that now. You feel me? What lab are y'all talking about? 
Y'all, y'all were created. Y'all got a bunch of people who's literally giving you the lyrics and giving you the songs to tell, uh, like to make other people worship you as an entity. They know that power. Let me tell you about the entity that governs hip hop. One of the biggest and one of the most important energies one of the most important understandings about hip-hop is that there is a there is something that governs it called respect respect is something that's earned by the things that by your talent by the way by the words that you put out there and how you able to influence people by your own mind not a bunch of people who's giving you something and creating and trying to give you no it don't work like that imagine imagine if dmx had a ghostwriter how would you look at the brother? He done put his heart. Well, that's what you thought. He put his heart and soul into them words. Imagine if you found out there's a whole bunch of other souls that was, you know what I mean, trying to get, like, make you think that it was somebody who's going through all this struggle or really it was somebody who's making you feel that this brother was struggling so hard you got to worship him, huh? He, oh, oh, he's going through the same pain I'm going through. No, somebody else wrote that. Imagine. That's very manipulative, and y'all don't even peep. Ghostwriting is dangerous in a sense because it's manipulative because they tr controlling the entity that's the celebrity, which is dangerous because they know the celebrity power. Imagine Lil Baby. You see how he flowing over? He able to flow. Boom. He able to go at it. Imagine Lil Baby had a ghostwriter. Somebody else wrote that for him. That's why he able to do it. So Imagine the biggie. All the respect he got from what? Imagine. All the respect he got over the years from the songs and the words and of him expressing himself. That's how he got to the top. We respect him. We don't respect people behind him giving him lyrics. Oh, he made a good son. No. I wrote him. for him. I wrote for Lil Wayne. Please, please. Get I wrote for him. I wrote for him. Imagine if Lil Wayne had a good son. We know. Yeah. All right. Listen. We know Lil Wayne could freestyle, though. You dig what I'm saying? We already know. We know he can freestyle. We know he can go in the booth and rip. So whether he had help or not, we literally know for sure Lil Wayne can freestyle. You dig what I'm saying? But imagine he had a whole ghostwriter the whole time. He imagine if he they they made him. Imagine. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like how would you feel when you find out that the person that you admired for the songs that they came up with is not even they songs. You dig rap. I'm talking about hip hop. Now singing, that's different because that voice, some people don't know. They got a heavenly voice, but they might not know how to use it or they might not know what the, like, like, they might not have a struggle or they might not have, but their voice is perfect for it. That's singing. That's dealing with, that means that if I give you lyrics and be like, yo, can you try to express, like, I, I want you to sing it like this because this is my expression. And then they sing it. Singing is a talent that you, that's dealing with the, like a whole nother energy that hip hop, hip hop is using your brain and you, but singing is using your voice. No, and of course it's using your brain and stuff like that, but it's two different lanes. I'm not going to put singing in the, in a line where you're supposed to be able to come up with thoughts and be able to come up with stuff, snap and be witty and be creative and be like, oh, like. And people admire you for the stuff that you say You say That's why we respect you Because respect is how you get on in hip hop Singing is something different Singing is something different I don't put it. I understand That yes it does have a look Like you should respect the uh, singer You will respect the singer who write her own songs You definitely would if, if you find out that Oh she wrote that Oh she's talented for real for real We don't be like Oh no she needed help Shorty needed help It's the help for me We don't do that we don't do that. You a you a performer for real, rappers. Y'all performer for real. You need help. It's not in you, player. Give up. You dig what I'm saying? It's not in you. If I'm not going to pay you for a verse, and then you got to pay somebody else to help you with your verse. Now you giving somebody else half the money to come up with it. So it's like, yo, come on, bro. Like, I don't respect people who use ghostwriters because you're getting paid millions for a song. You shouldn't need no help coming up with that song or you're not talented. People going to like you. Yeah, we like you. We like Drake. But we don't respect the brother because we don't know if he was made to be. Oh, yo, that's why everybody esteemed Drake. But we esteem the brother because they literally molded him for us to say that. The songs and all that, that we don't know who came, who was as clever as, we don't know who was really creative in the process. He tried to cheat with the singing stuff. Well, I'm a singer too, so singers naturally, nah, nigga, you cannot sing, please don't even disrespect us like that humming or whatever you, 
But the brother is talented. The brother can rap. We know he can rap. But however, it's like, what songs did you really need help with, bro? Are they all the songs that you needed to get to the top? And then we look in, we got documentaries on all the songs that they stole. So they stole a whole bunch of like cadences and, 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 and all type of flavor from past and, and like even the present to make who he is today and for us to mold it him, for us to esteem him as the as the king of hip hop or whatever. When really just like y'all said, y'all like the songs, right? Well, he had help with all those songs to get to the top. You dig what I'm saying? So if he had help with all them songs, then is he really the king? How can you respect it? You can't respect you at the top, but it's like you cheated to get there. Like say if you, it was like a kingdom. You up here stabbing everybody who's supposed to be really the king. Who's actually putting in that work. While you over here with a whole bunch of people in the crowd helping you stay the king. But you you need help. It's not in you, player. Once you, like, like, look, you got writer's block or something. That's like, but you you should never need help with your own damn song. Or else it's not your song. Like, you're a group. You're a group for real. How the fuck we gonna know if Nick Cannon corny or not? If he don't write his own lyrics? Explain it to me. You dig what I'm saying? How we gonna know if our artist is good or progressing or just horrible? If we don't know because he don't write his own lyrics, how are you going? We gonna know if you're a real artist if you don't know how to create art. Now let me talk about. Oh, I just like to hear good music. I just like to hear good songs, people. Let's talk about them. Guess what? Those songs already exist. But it's so many fake homemade builder rappers out there that these labels keep promotion, promoting. You don't know all the other rappers out there that's coming out with better music than these people. And they doing it all on their own. Like me, S.I.J. <laughs> I'm just saying, though, man, keep it a buck. I don't respect a rapper who need help, bro. They don't work like that over here. I'll, I'll listen to your album for free. I find out you need help with your songs and you a billion millionaire. Like, you don't need my tip. Like, please. You lose my respect. Yeah, it's a good song that you need to help with. You a group for real. I don't know who really wrote this. Yeah, it sounds great, but I would never book you for a show. How You know why? Because you were, it ain't even you. Who wrote it? Let me, let me book Quentin. Let me find out Eminem got a ghostwriter. I, I wouldn't even look at Eminem the same. I wouldn't even look at Eminem the same, bruh. Imagine Eminem had a ghostwriter, bruh. You'll be like, M? Even if you don't like Eminem, you'll be like, what? Wow. So you up here trying to be Mr. Popular to impress us? To try to make it seem like you some top rapper? But So you just trying to be cool? Because the rap is the definition of cool. It makes the cool. So you just trying to be cool, huh? So you was trying to be cool to make it to make yourself look like you dig what I'm saying? See, what I'm trying to say is they take a rapper that already exists and mold them into something that they can market in the way they want to market, like it's a like the person is a it and not a him or a she. They taking the profit and making a the profit. They taking the people who's real influential, influential and know how to, you know what I'm saying, harvest they 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 celebrity or whatever. Why you think it ain't no, what, like, like, all right, put it this way. Where's the real ghost artist at? Let's, I'm talking about a ghost artist. Like, you draw a picture for me and then give me the picture and then I go and sell it. Would you respect that? If you ask me to draw you a picture, I pay somebody to draw the picture for you and, and it don't even look like what, and I hand it to you and give you some half. Or I give it to you and you look, you like, yeah, yo, can you draw me another picture? Pay me more. I take half of that and go, I'm just cheating the game, Jack. Oh, smart as hell for the art. If I was an artist, then I had a ghostwriting on it. Oh, well, and like, hey, but yo, I don't respect it. Like, I mean, I don't respect it. Because if you at the top and you needed help and you already there and you making millions and more like, like if you on drink level, like, all right, it is what it is. Like at the end of the day, like it's other people use ghostwriters though. But don't, don't be making it seem like that's the way you should do it or that's the way. Because at the end of the day, when it comes down to you actually having fun and flowing, because rap is fun when it comes to flowing and being around people like in the respect level and all that stuff. It's like, no, you cheated for real. 
I could have did that. All I had to do is hire the person you hired to write that rap for me. You ain't give me a We're a rap. Let me see a, fa a ghost artist. Let me see a ghost cook. Now, I wish somebody would go and make a dish and then and pay me for it to do a banquet. And I go and pay McDonald's to give me the burgers and the fries and everything for the. And I bring it and then, and then send you to it. And you acting like. And then you paid me all this bread for some exquisite ish. I go to Mickey D's, buy they ish, and sell it back to you. And you looking at me like, you the middleman for real. You the middleman. You middleman rappers. It ain't no ghost cooks. It ain't no ghost artists. Artists is ghost dads. They call stepdads, and the ghost dad get the get the damn brownie points. Not the real one who went ghost. I call step pops ghost dad. I don't even see if you need a ghost writer. You not as talented as you thought you were. Move over for the real and talented rappers to step up and take the spot. It's the job for me. You ain't on your job. You're the middleman. What make you unique? What make you different? What make you yourself? That's why we respect rappers who does that, who get to the top. That's why we respect rappers who put that work in. That's why. If I can't make a hit, that means I'm not talented enough to make a hit. That's it. That's it. It's all. It's been plenty of rappers out here, man. What you need help for? You getting millions. Come up with a plan. You telling me if somebody need help uh, uh, losing weight, don't you got to work out to lose weight? Well, don't you got to work work out and get better at making reps? What's so hard? Oh, you need help for real. You're not as talented as you, we thought you was. So I'm not going to respect people who use a ghostwriter. I don't care about how good the song is. You could have sold that song to anybody, Jack. What I'm respecting you for? What you want a trophy for? You don't get no trophy over here. You're not a real rapper. You can't rap off the top. You can't turn the beat on. Nah, I turn the beat on. You up there like, oh, Mike, whip me up something real quick. Nah, I don't work like that. For real. You lose my respect in the game when I find out you're using ghost writers or you. And I'm just an audience member. But however, the more people who think like me, the more people who hip hop will be free of these leeches. Everybody wondering why they can't get on. Because these cats is these cats is still, you know what I'm saying? The cats who need help. But anyway, man, I'm just saying. <laughs> the only way I respect if you're using a ghostwriter is if you literally tell me, yo, man, like, yo, man, my cousin, he got shot in the neck, man. He can't really rap this, but he wrote this for him. I'm about to spit it for him. I hope I can add the energy and the mood. And, like, I spit it for him just like this. And he said that was how I wanted to spit it. So I'm going to spit it like that's the only way I'm going to respect you if you rapping somebody else's edge. <laughs> you dig? But anyway, it's your boy SIG, man. I'm Audi like a belly button. If you agree, hit that like button. If you, you know what I'm saying, subscribe to the channel if you know. Definitely stay tuned. All my raps I wrote, and I'm even making my own beats now. So I don't even want to hear. If and if I'm in my last track, that joint is flames. You dig? So we'll check that joint out, man. But anyway, if you agree, holler at me. You already know where I'm from. It's your boy. It's, it's from Philly, man. Philly artist over here. Peace. Let me know how you feel in the comment section below. You dig? Just a freak, not shorty, not a hoe. Uh. Just a freak, not shorty, not a hoe. Uh. Just a freak, not shorty, not a hoe. Uh. Just a freak, goddamn. The way the girls work, and we gon' end up with an earthquake. Can I get a slice of that cake like my birthday? She a bad chick, look good on her worst day. Mad that a broken, ugly nigga up in her face. I hope she like chocolate, all depending up on her taste. Took that nigga's spot, and then we ended up at her. It's something about the way a chick be looking when she naked. It's a horror around you when that shit be looking sick.